Guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video, we are going to be previewing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Week 16 matchup versus the Houston Texans. So guys, without further ado, let's talk about it. First things first, I said this in the Players to Watch video. I'm going to say it here. I'm going to be at the game. Myself, Gabby, Gabby's whole family, we're all going to be at the game. And if you guys want to look out for me, I will be wearing a number 15 Hill jersey. That's how you're going to know it's me. I'll be wearing the number 15 Hill jersey. So if you see me, come say hey, say what's up. Let's talk about some Buccaneers football. And let's just hang out, have a fun time watching the game. It should be a lot of fun. I hope to see a lot of you there. Again, if you guys see me, just go, hey, James, what's up, James? How you doing? And I'll dab you up. I'll be like, hey, what's going on, man? And it'll be a great, great time. Now, I'm not going to name all of the Houston Texans players that are labeled as out for this upcoming game versus the Buccaneers, but I will label all of the Buccaneers players that are officially labeled as out for this upcoming game versus the Texans. So the first guy, Bo Allen, uh, he is officially labeled as out. That is unfortunate because Bo Allen, you know, very, very good rotational defensive lineman. I've liked what I've seen from him so far this year, and that is unfortunate. Also labeled out, Chris Godwin. That one's expected. We saw him with his hamstring injury. It did not look good. Tanner Hudson is officially labeled as out. I believe he is in the concussion protocol right now. So again, this one makes a lot of sense. The two big ones is Mike Evans and Jordan Whitehead were officially placed on the injured reserve for the last two games of the season and that really really sucks because both those guys were having pretty solid years uh, Mike Evans especially Jordan Whitehead he could have done better in pass coverage but he looked really really good in run stopping and just overall tackling so I got to give him points for that but in the case of Mike Evans I would expect Brashad Perriman among others to kind of fill in that role of just you know contributing something for the wide receiver position and then in the case of Jordan Whitehead, I would say, you know, maybe Mike Edwards can help fill that spot at safety. Maybe Andrew Adams. That one's probably going to be a little bit more of a rotational type of thing. But yeah, both those injuries suck nonetheless. And then finally, two guys I believe are listed as questionable. Two of the bigger ones is Donovan Smith and Carlton Davis. Um, I really hope both these guys play because we would just be decimated, you know, with injuries at that point if those two couldn't go. Our starting left tackle and our starting, you know, cornerback, that would be really, really unfortunate. And the Buccaneers, they're pretty banged up right now. First point I want to make is one of the most important points, uh, the Vernon Hargraves revenge game. Did you guys think we would have a Vernon Hargraves revenge game so quickly uh, after the Buccaneers released him? I wasn't expecting it, but, uh, you know, the Buccaneers released Vernon Hargraves earlier on this year. I believe it's only been like a month and a half. Uh, you know, I believe it's only been six, seven weeks, but they released him. The Houston Texans picked up Vernon Hargraves, and now he is going to play us. Um, there's no bad blood there. I don't hate Vernon Hargraves and I don't think anybody should really. Um, he hasn't done anything wrong, essentially. Um, just seemed like it was a scenario where things just didn't work out for Tampa Bay or Vernon Hargraves, and right now as it stands, both parties seem a whole heck of a lot happier with their, you know, respective outcomes from that move. Vernon Hargraves is in Houston. He seems happy. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they've been doing some good things as well. You know, it seemed like a win-win for everybody. Just, you know, time to move on, you know. But um, Vernon Hargraves, he did have an interview, I believe, leading up to this game. And he said, well, Jameis Winston turns the ball over. That ain't no secret, you know. And it was like, well, okay, fine. Take a, take a little shot there. That's fine. Whatever. I guess you know, fine. It is what it is. I'm not mad at Vernon Hargraves, and it will be interesting to see him play against a team that he was literally on not a month and a half ago. Second thing I want to talk about, Winston's low on weapons. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, two Pro Bowl wide receivers, by the way. That's going to be a fun thing to say for the next, like, four years plus. That's going to be amazing. So, uh, Winston is very, very low on weapons right now. His top two wide receivers are out. So, what's going to happen? What's going to go on? Who could possibly take up the mantle of being, you know, to the top receiving targets for Jameis Winston and the Buccaneers offense? Well, the guy I pointed to first off, Brashad. Paramount, I expect him to, you know, be the number one wide receiver and get a healthy amount of targets this upcoming game versus the Texans. Uh, the Texans have a very, very weak secondary in terms of, you know, dealing with quarterbacks, giving up a lot of yardage, stuff like that. I believe they are the 30th ranked secondary right now in the entire NFL. That's not that good. And Rashawn Perriman, he's been on a tear the last three games, so I really, really want to see him continue that, keep on doing some amazing things, and being 
great. Um, aside from that, in terms of the wide receiver core, you have Justin Watson, who has flashed a little bit of some stuff in the past couple of games, um, and I'm excited to see what he can do. Everybody is saying that this is going to be Justin Watson's, you know, coming out party. This is where he's going to ascend and finally have, like, a super amazing, awesome game. We will have to wait and see for that. I'm definitely hoping for it. The Buccaneers do have another wide receiver, Ishmael Heyman, I believe is his name, something along those lines. I know it's Ishmael, so um, he is now on the roster. He was here last week as well. He had one catch versus the Lions, and I believe, I guess technically, he is the third wide receiver on the depth chart right now, so pay attention to him. And then finally, the last guy I want to mention, Spencer Schnell. I love Snelly. You guys know how much I love Snelly. I even said in one of my previous live streams, I believe it was in one of my last two live streams, I said, hey, they should really bring back Spencer Schnell. And hey, they did. So awesome. I love it. I think it's great. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful thing. Um, and I'm excited for that. Hopefully he gets a good, a decent amount of playing time. I want to see him in the slot because I really think he can do some awesome stuff. And yeah, very, very excited for that one as well. And then finally, OJ Howard, Cameron Bray. Those guys are going to be getting so many targets, you would imagine, in this upcoming game. I expect OJ Howard to be moved out to wide receiver a handful of times in this game. And just overall use their size, use their athleticism that both Cameron Bray and OJ Howard have against this Houston Texans defense. And I think, you know, while the Buccaneers' top two weapons are out for this upcoming game, you still can get some very, very good results out of the guys that you have left. I want to talk about can the run game improve we have been seeing it for a few weeks now is the run blocking isn't good and seemingly the running backs just haven't been able to do a lot with what they're given I don't know whose fault it is more um my opinion I guess I would say the offensive line because their run blocking has been looking awful this year it's just not good so can the run game finally improve who knows we'll have to wait and see I still expect there to be to be a um full split between Peyton Barber and Ronald Jones. I don't think that that is going to be changing at all, but I do want to say the run blocking does need to improve for any of these guys to have any amount of success moving forward with the last two games. Uh, the second to last point I want to make here, Shaq Barrett, can he break the record? I think he will break the record. He has tied the record right now, essentially. Everybody is so proud of him. Pro Bowl pass rusher for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Shaq Barrett. That feels so, so good to say. Uh, Bruce Arians said he isn't going anywhere. Shaq Barrett has essentially said he's not going anywhere. The only thing left for him to do this year is to just break the record and be amazing for the Buccaneers. Sign a four-year contract, get him a lot of money, and just be great. So Shaq Barrett, um, I think he's going to break the record in this game versus the Texans. And again, I know I've said this three weeks now, but I'm still all here for it. Finally, guys, last thing I want to mention here is the Houston Texans offense is pretty darn good. And in the middle of all of it is Deshaun Watson and DeAndre Hopkins. These guys are so, so, so good together. It's like a match made in heaven, essentially, okay? Deshaun Watson, I think, is one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL right now. And I think he's even underrated a little bit. People aren't talking about Deshaun Watson as much as some of the other guys that are out there right now. And I don't think that's fair. Deshaun Watson's a pretty darn good quarterback, and he's had to overcome a lot of obstacles this year. Him and his head coach, Bill O'Brien, who's a very good head coach, by the way. Um, so Deshaun Watson's an absolute beast. And then you have DeAndre Hopkins, who's one of the better wide receivers in the NFL. I think top five easily. Uh, he could even be top three right now at this point, or even top two. Who knows? He could be the best. I have no idea. Um, but DeAndre Hopkins is an absolute beast. Pair him up with Deshaun Watson. You've got some trouble. I expect, you know, maybe Carlton Davidson, if he can play in this upcoming game, but if not him, Jamel Dean, and put a safety with him as well. Double team DeAndre Hopkins to high heaven, but you still got to worry about some other wide receivers like Will Fuller, Kenny Stills. Those guys have got some dangerous speed to them and then you got to worry about the running game with Carlos Hyde as well so this uh, Houston Texans offense is pretty good and it's going to be really interesting to see how the Buccaneers defense combats that combats that in this upcoming game all right guys that's it for this preview I hope you guys all enjoyed again if you are going to the game let me know down in the comment section below I will be wearing the number 15 Hill jersey if you guys see me go hey James what's up and I'll be like hey bro what's going on and I'll be like oh what's up man we can talk about some Bucks football maybe we can go get a soda or something it'll be a great time and it'll be a lot of fun so I hope to see all of you guys there for this upcoming game but guys thank you so much for watching this video hope you all enjoyed I will see you in the next video or the next live stream but until then and as always guys goodbye for now and go Bucks